Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is that time of the year where Glossier does their one and only sale, their Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale. Everything on their website is gonna be 20% off. And so I wanted to share with you guys my all time favorite Glossier products that I feel like are 100% worth the investment stuff that I use over and over again. I repurchase myself and things that I just feel like you guys would really love if you are new to the Glossier brand and you're wondering what to get for the first time I am a Glossier rep, so if you want to go ahead and shop the sale using my link, that helps me out. It doesn't cost you any more to use my link. It just tracks my sales so that Glossier can know that you guys really appreciate my videos and it just really helps me out. So if you do end up shopping the Glossier sale, I would really, really appreciate you using any of my links. I will be sure to link all of my favorites down below, but let's go ahead and get into it. So like I mentioned, I did a video just like this last year right before Black Friday to prep you guys on my favorites and a lot of those products are actually the same but there are some new products that I feel like I either have a new love for or there's some new products that Glossier has launched since last year's video. So I have all of my Glossier products right here. I have way more than this. I have pretty much every shade of all of their products. I only brought my favorites. So these are all of my favorite Glossier products and we're just gonna go right into it. So the first thing is the Body Hero Perfecting Cream. And this is a product that I was so late to the game to try. This is a product that was not in my video last year. And now that I've tried it, I absolutely love it. It took me a really long time to finally take the plunge and buy the Body Hero line, but after I purchased it, I really love it and I can see myself rebuying this. So this is the Body Hero Perfecting Cream and it honestly is such a good consistency. It has a little bit of like a shimmer to it. It's not sparkly, but it does give you like a glistening glow effect on your skin and it's just super, super hydrating. I love the formula, I love the smell and it's a great, cream. The next product for sure, 100%, if you get anything from Glossier makeup related, you have to try their cloud paints. I have every shade except for that one orange shade that they have because it did not look good on me, but I just got their two new shades. I just bought those and I love them. Spark and Eve are so good. I feel like my favorite shade this year was actually Beam. This was not my favorite shade last year, but I have loved this peachy shade. I feel like it looks so good on all of skin tone. Another shade that I really, really love is Spark. I tried this one on in my $500 Glossier giveaway video and it's just the most beautiful red blush shade. It's so pretty and I feel like honestly you could probably mix these and get like a beautiful color. I know cloud paints are very blendable. You can mix them together but if you've never ordered cloud paint before and you really want to play it safe, I think Dusk is a gorgeous shade and I also think Beam is a really pretty shade. So I feel like if you are new to cloud paint, these will be your best options if you have lighter and medium skin tones and then if you have like a deeper skin tone I really do feel like you would love Eve or Storm. Storm is a little bit more reddish this Eve color is a super purple plum undertone. They're both so pretty, but I feel like either of these would look so good if you had like a deeper skin tone. They obviously work on people like me with like a medium skin tone. I tried on Eve, which is this deep purple in my last vlog and I love the shade of it. So honestly, all of these shades are so pretty and they all blend out so beautifully. So Cloud Paint 100% is at the top of my list for things to stock up on during the sale or to try out for the first time, you will not be disappointed. Back to skincare, the eye and lip cream bubble wrap. This is such a good eye cream. It has like this emulsion-y consistency to it. It is seriously so hydrating. I feel like I put this on at night and honestly my under eyes are so refreshed and hydrated. It's also great because you can put it on your lips as well. So it's multi-purpose. It is a pump mechanism so you don't have to dip your hand into a pot of eye cream. So it's more hygienic, it's a great formula, and I have repurchased this multiple times now, and I love it. So if you haven't really tried out their skincare, this is by far one of my favorites. Another favorite, I talked about these last year, and I'm gonna talk about them again because they are, again, at the very top of my list for favorite makeup products. These are the Glossier Generation G lipsticks, the matte lipsticks, and again, same shades I talked about last year, Leo and Cake are the best. 
if you mix them together they make the most perfect neutral lip color i love these they're so so beautiful if you could only choose one i would say cake is a really beautiful beautiful shade very universal but i really like them mixed together they just are the perfect shade together and i love the matte formula if you pair it over a bomb.com they're so comfortable to wear and speaking of bomb.com also on my top favorites because i use them daily there's one in my purse there's one in my car there's a ton on my like vanity and i just I love collecting bob.com. So I have all of the scents from bob.com, but I think right now my two favorites is coconut. So this one is a really like sweet scent to it, but it's not the same as birthday cake. It's less vanilla, but still very sweet and warm smelling. And then this is the brand new one. This is the wild fig bomb.com. And this one is tinted. It has like a reddish, kind of orangey red tint to it and it just smells fruity and delicious and I love, I love the packaging of this one and I think this one's limited edition so I would grab this one if you can. Those two are the ones that I packed in my bag today. A new product that launched this year and I have been using nonstop. This is the Glossier Priming Moisturize Balance Formula. This is their priming moisturizer that is perfect for oily combination skin. They have a priming moisturizer rich formula which I love during the winter because it is so thick and hydrating it is like this super thick cream and it's amazing it smells so good but for the summer and for the daytime I really like a more lightweight moisturizer and so I've been really enjoying the priming moisturizer balance formula this is a gel cream formula also I have reviews on all of these products but it's just really light consistency. So it goes great under makeup. It's so, so lightweight. You don't feel like you have anything in your skin. It's not going to like clog your pores and make your makeup really heavy. It is a really great daytime moisturizer. They also have a priming moisturizer, the original formula, which is great if you have more dry skin. So this is perfect if you have oily, acne prone skin like me. We love a good gel formula. I think I remember this being on my favorites last year, but I can't I can't be positive. This is the Glossier Play Highlight in the shade, what shade is this? In the shade Pale Pearl. This is the lightest shade that they have. And I really love this highlight because it is just a flashy highlight. Their Halo Scope is definitely for the person who wants super natural looking makeup, but the Night Shine is definitely more of a stroby highlight, but I, I clearly love a full face of makeup, so I really like a poppin' highlight. And this is it, it's so pretty. It honestly just, it blends into the skin perfectly so you can apply it with your fingers, and I really like this shade, it's a really good light shade. The thing I feel like I used the most this year gone through maybe four bottles this year is the Glossier Super Glow Vitamin C Serum. This is part of my daily routine. I put this on every single morning after I cleanse my face underneath my moisturizer and sunscreen and I love the formula of this. It's a hydrating vitamin C serum and it's also super great under makeup and it just gives you that nice glow that you need for your skin and yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like I talk about this one all the time in my vlog, so I don't want to ramble on about it, but I seriously have repurchased this like four times this year. The next product, which is relatively new to my favorites actually, I feel like I did not like this when I first tried this out. This is the Glossier Solution, but recently I decided that I was just going to try it out again because I ran out of a different toner that I was using, and I actually really like it. So with this toner, you have to go through this like purging stage of your skin, so if you have acne prone skin, this will be your best friend eventually, but you have to get through the purging part where your skin is starting to kind of get rid of all the impurities in your skin. And it's basically purging all those out. So you will break out when you first start using this, but I got through that period and now I actually really love it. It exfoliates like a really gentle exfoliation on your skin every night. And it just is like the perfect toner to get all your makeup off, to gently exfoliate and to prep the skin for your serums and your moisturizer. At first I was kind of like, mm, not really into it, but I'm glad I gave it another try because I actually really like it. The next thing, this was in my favorites last year. I'm like 99% sure. I honestly have not watched that video again. so. 
I can't remember what was in that video, but this is the Glossier Wowder setting powder, and this is one of my favorite setting powders. I use this one in the Laura Mercier constantly, and I just love this setting powder. I feel like it works really well underneath your bronzer, blush, highlight, all that. You can put cloud paint over it, so it does the job. It sets my face, it keeps my makeup in place, and I really like that. I use it almost daily, so that's one of my favorites. The next thing is the Glossier U Perfume. I cannot tell you how much I love this perfume. It is the perfect scent to me. I really, I really think it's a perfect scent if you don't like anything super florally, but it's also not musky. Like it doesn't smell manly. I can't describe it to you other than it is just the most incredible smell ever and I love it. And their Body Hero line is the same scent as this. It's so, so good. The packaging is so cute. I love the little like divot right here. It's just really, really good, and I actually don't remember if they still have it in solid form, but I should get that because it'd be nice to have a solid one of these in my bag. So I might look online and see if they have that and purchase it during Black Friday. The next thing is the Glossier sunscreen. This has gotten so much use. Number one, you should be wearing sunscreen every single day, and I've been really good about it this year. I will say, even if I'm not going anywhere, I put my sunscreen on. I've gotten very, very religious about it. This is the Invisible Shield sunscreen. This is a clear cast sunscreen, SPF 35. And this is great because it works really well underneath your makeup. It's not super heavy. And because it is a clear cast, it's not like a white formula. So it looks like you have sunscreen on. It literally is clear and it's great. So used this a lot this year. The next products are the Glossier Vinylic Lip. There is one new shade. So I shared this shade, Pony, last year, this beautiful nude shade. They released another good neutral this year. This is the shade Genius, and I love it. So these are my two favorite shades from the Vinylic Lip collection and I really like these because they are very very different than the Generation G lipsticks. Those are more of like a matte lipstick, like a sheer one. These are like a full on lip color. Like I have a little bit on my lips but I can show you guys. It's glossy. I love the formula of these. They're so like Lick, and they're more like a liquid lipstick. They are very different than the Generation G lipsticks. The next two products kind of go hand in hand. So I actually have been using the Lash Lick Mascara non-stop this year. It is the perfect mascara because, hear me out, it is super natural looking. It is the type of mascara that you wear on like a daily basis. If you're doing like a full glam and you want those big voluminous lashes, I would probably go a different direction. But this is a great mascara if you don't wear a ton of makeup, if you literally just want it to look like your lashes look incredible and they're natural. It's a great lengthening mascara. It has fibers in it, so it's super lightweight, but it gives you that length that you just dream of. It is the darkest black formula. I feel like this is like a true black mascara. I feel like a lot of blacks sometimes look a little bit more like a dark gray, but this is a true black mascara. So it's just really good. I really love it. And it's great to take off if you like cry ever. It doesn't like bleed under your eyes and make your eyes all like look like you've been crying basically. It almost like flakes off if it gets wet. So it doesn't like run underneath your eyes. So when you do go to take it off at night, it comes off so easily with just warm water and face wash. And it comes off incredibly well with the Glossier Milky Oil. This is their makeup remover. And as you can see, I have gone through this and I really love it. It takes off foundation. It takes off any sort of lip liner, lipstick, and it also removes eyeshadows, eyeliners, and the Lash Lick Mascara. Amazing because it is an oily makeup remover. So, it's really good and it just takes everything off so well. You don't have to tug at your skin so you can be really gentle with it. But those are all of my Glossier favorites. Like I said, I will link them down below. If you want to shop using my links, it would be so appreciated. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful seeing all of my Glossier favorites. Like I said, these are the products that I have used the most this year and things that I've repurchased and that I would highly recommend if you are new to the brand or if you haven't tried any of them before. I think these are some of the best ones that Glossier has made. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs 
thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you end up grabbing anything from the Glossier sale. And if you are new to my channel and you want to stick around for some more videos, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next one very, very soon. Bye!